walls of government. You know it. Let me see what you got. Jackie? What the hell? Why are you driving? in a truck what happened to your store government shut me down they don't want niggas buying guns where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such motherfuckers tell me about it let me know if you see something you want Lincoln, you were sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy and Ellis. They always did right by me.
Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. I forgot, you was born and raised here, too. Mm-hmm. Fourth generation. And I'm serious. That place Mikey went to was the best. They made etouffee just like my mama. Ooh, I bet her gumbo was good, too, huh? Oh, boy, her gumbo. beans and rice. Yeah, my mama can't cook for shit. Never could. Son of a bitch can't hide forever.
take a walk. All of you. You're here somewhere, I know it. Huh? Gotta show up sometime. Spread the word. Any woman needing help? Well, you don't have to be awfully sweet to me. Coach, I'll be sweet. Whatever you want. Well, it's in this porch, monkey home. show up sometime. Getting hurt. Run, don't hurt me, please. Get out of here. No reason to go looking for trouble. Our father, Run. who art in heaven. No, oh, no. oh God. Huh? Oh. We have to go. We have to get out of here. Jet, he's got no. Brother, brother, calm down. You have to use a lighter touch is all. Well, what am I supposed to do? Fucking animal acts like I'm the one who got him hooked on Skag. What? Run that motherfucker out of here. We all make mistakes when we're young, and we can end up hurting those who mean the most to us in the process. But all we can do is move forward and try to take something meaningful from the experience.
I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hell hole. Pain you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. How are you doing?
Police down here, quick! The call just came in on a car being stolen in the hollow. If there's a unit in the area, maybe stop over and see what's going on. Huh? You're about to get your god what damn! The How's that feel, asshole? Go! Don't do That wasn't you, was it? I suppose. Thank you. You were sight for so eyes. Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. 
I'll be seeing you, Laveau. Off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. Damn thing out there.
Heard he not only got the girls, he killed Doc, too. Yeah, he was deader than shit. Fuck. Doc gets off, the boys out there running those whores get off. I think Merle's gonna have himself a coronary. He's so pissed. Just a nigger. How fucking tough can he be? He comes back, we'll light his ass up. but I wasn't even here. I'm just... Motherfucker took some of our best girls. You get that dope in them, they'd suck a potato out of a tailpipe. Wasn't all. He killed Doc, too. Oh, fuck him. Any idiot can work a needle. But getting someone to work a cock? Oh, that's another story. Yes, sir. He done uh, killed one of us. This child was... Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. Oh, there are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. <laughs> 